So now let's think about and now let's go back to what is inside that input to output mapping or what is inside that computational unit and try to have an abstract diagram of what is the computational model of a neuron. So if you look at a neuron, essentially, you know, it is represented by a node or a circle. Okay. What each neuron in each neuron in a neural network does is two computations, and those are marked by the computation that you have separated by the lines that you have. So this portion will do what is known as Z computation, and this portion is also, you know, is known as the G or or activation computation. So those are the two computations that is done by a neuron. Let's think about what Z does. So G computation is essentially taking whatever is input to that neuron, multiplying then by the weight corresponding to the, you know, the edges that are going in the neuron and then adding a bias. So this is what we have here, the computation that you see here, this is essentially the Z computation. And you have to think about, it's basically a linear combination of weights and input and adding a bias to that is essentially the Z computation. So that's the number one computation in a neuron. And then the second computation or the number two computation in the neuron is this, you know, activation or the Z computation, which takes this linear combination and passes that on to a non-linear function. Okay. And this function could be different things. And we'll talk about some of those functions, which are known as activation functions. Okay, so this activation function could be something like, you know, uh, so we have this, this could be something like sigmoid or relu, and we will go through some example of what are this kind of function that is there. Okay, so this is the second computation a neuron does, and this activation in the next layer becomes the input to other neurons. And we are connecting multiple different neurons to multiple other neurons in the overall network, but essentially each of the individual neuron or what is the mathematical model of neuron is essentially taking a set of inputs, okay, doing this Z combination, which is basically taking the linear combination of weights and exercise and adding a bias, and then doing a nonlinear transformation of that through activation function, which might be sigmoid or relu, and that is what is done. And once we concatenate and basically aggregate this information of multiple com multiple computations across multiple neurons in a network, we essentially have a framework that allows us to fit a very, very complex function for input to output mapping. But at a single neuron level, what we have is essentially these two computations that we can do. So that is, you know, in not nutshell, the mathematical or the computational model of the neuron, which does, you know, these two simple calculations and pass that information to the next layer and also, you know, as you'll see, in some cases, this information could be used to also do the back propagation step, okay? So this, with this, we covered, like, what is the simple mathematical model of a neuron?